Go. I'm here with head coach Lewis Smith of CW Esports and Overwatch coach Andrew Wall. First of all, big five map win there. 3 2 Falcons. What are your initial thoughts on that one? Uh, heart rate's still coming down, still, still decompressing, but like now that it's over, Incredible, absolutely incredible. One. I mean, we haven't honestly, we haven't been challenged a lot this season. Seth Hell haven't dropped the map and coming into a brand new environment in person, crowd gallon, the opposing team five feet away, just best win we could have ever spoken. Like you said, first ever for Overwatch face to face here. What are the pros and cons of battling face to face in a venue like this? Cons, it's, it's risky because we're putting all of our students in the environment that they're not used to. You know, our pre-gamer team is going to be different. We're driving, we're on different monitors in a different area, and different sights and sounds, especially that crowd noise is something we've never ever done. But the pro is now that it's done, they're going to look back at that. I think that's one of the best matches I've ever played. Well, it's how the performance, but there's like hype, emotion, excitement, like very, think about that the rest of the oh. So diving into the nitty gritty of Overwatch, we saw the Falcons jump out really, really hot in map one. Map two is a little bit closer, but what changed with Carol between maps two and three with them taking maps three and four pretty heavily? Carol made some adjustments. Uh, they got set up in a much better position. We had longer sight lines, there's a more sniper versus the ability to shot, just a lot more power damage. Having said that, we adjusted our strategy perhaps a little bit too much. When we got back to our Concordia identity, though, that's when we really got back in. That's when we took map five. So, what are one of the what are some of the things that you said in that huddle before map five that really hyped up your players as you can see later? Yeah, map five, the pre-game chat that was probably our best strategy chat ever, I would say. Um, we just kind of debated about what our picks were going to be, what we wanted to attack with, um, and also it just came down to playing to our to our strengths. Not trying to match with JD, but going out confidently that us and our own best is B2. And even adding to that, like with the land environment, with any person, with the crowd, after map four, we finally leave it. I mean, we even said, like, all right, let's, we're going to win one team fight, and we're going to scream way louder than we've ever screamed. And the crowd into it, just like building up that hype that Carol was building, we're trying to come And a huge shout out to people who showed up in person, our players, parents, family, friends, everything like that. These people were awesome. They carried us throughout the entire event, especially map one. So, Falcons stay perfect with a win here. What are some keys for the rest of the season to keep that win streak going in the playoffs? I can just carry out this moment that we got to. Uh, I mean, tonight was just all about solidifying our identity as a team, boosting that confidence. We know now that we can take any team in this conference. We can push them, we can get that win. I think we're just going to be carrying that momentum from tonight. You know, the adjustments we typically have out here. Falcons remain perfect here with a five-map win in Overwatch.